Hey there, Heather here with TwoBlooms.com and I'm here to demonstrate how to create beautiful photo albums with our very own Instabook templates for Lightroom. These templates are great because they not only will save you tremendous amounts of time creating photo albums in Lightroom, but they are very versatile and you have more creativity options than you were you would in the book module. So we're going to get started. After you have successfully installed the templates on, into Lightroom, you can see the three different folders here. You have the square album covers, the album pages, and the album spreads. So the covers are, you know, the covers. The album pages are just a square album page, single page, and the album spreads are a full width page for a 12 by 12 book and these can easily be sized down. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate using a square and I'm going to choose this one. So you need to make sure that you have the correct film strip chosen from the session that you'd like to work with. You can also scroll down here and choose a collection that you already have set up if you want to jump from session to session. But if you're working with one session or one event at a time, then you don't need to worry about collection. Just make sure you have your session or event in the film strip below. All you have to do to fill up these little boxes, these are your photo boxes that are already set up. You just drag and drop the photos into the boxes. So I'm just going to do this really quick. It takes, if you know exactly what photos you want to use, it takes literally seconds to fill this up. So I'm going to do, there we go. Voila. So say you don't like the crop to a certain image, you can go ahead and click on the image that you would like to change the crop and you hold down control or command key on a Mac and you can move the image in the frame. So if I don't like the crop, I can just simply move it by holding, clicking on the photo box itself, and then holding Control or Command on a Mac. I think these look pretty good. So really easy, really simple to make beautiful albums within seconds. So when you're ready to print, you can come out down here to print job. But before we go to print job, I'm going to show you how you can add a little bit of text on a page. So come over here to the right hand panel and um, come down to the page menu. And I'm going to choose identity plate. Now you can only add one text box to a page, which um, can be a slight drawback, but if you just want to use this as a cover or if you want a simple text on a page, this is a really great option. So you can come over here. This is my identity plate. This is the identity plate to Blooms. So you can change it by clicking on this little arrow down here. And you can go to edit. And this is where you can choose the size of your text, what your text says, the font, and even the color of the text. So I'm going to choose, um, we're just going to choose a fancy script and I'm going to have it say a southern wedding and I'm going to choose my color over here just by clicking on that little color box and I'm just going to choose one of these colors over here and you can also add in custom colors depending on um, your your logo or whatever you want to choose. I'm going to click OK. Well, let's try that again. you got to make sure that it's selected. There we go. Let's try that again. OK. And it says a southern wedding, and when you, you know, you have everything that you want just right, you can just go ahead and click OK. And you can see this has inserted the identity plate or the text into the photo. Now that's a very small print, so if you want to enlarge it, you just click on this box, 
and you can drag the corners and make it larger or smaller depending on what you'd like. And then when you're done you just hit enter and you're done. So say for instance you really like these album designs and whatnot but you want to get rid of a box that's just, just not suiting your album page or whatnot. You can actually click on the box and hit your backspace or delete button and it will completely get rid of the box. So I'll just do another one just like that. So when you're ready to go ahead and finish off and export this file you don't actually go into the library module to export you come out down here to print job. So you come down here make sure that it's printing to a JPEG file unless you're printing on your own the file resolution make sure you check with your professional printer and see what file resolution that they um, suggest some places are 250 ppi and some places are 300 so make sure that you check and you can change that accordingly just by clicking and typing in the numbers now you can choose to have these sharpened or not you could do low standard or high it's totally up to you. Um, I always choose the highest quality, especially for a photo book. These are custom file dimensions. Keep, make sure you keep this checked. If for some reason this is unchecked, it's going to completely mess up your, your um, template. So when you are ready to print it or export it, you just click print to file and it's going to come up where you want to print it. Now you can choose your desktop or any um, folder on your hard drive that you want to save it. And you just type in the name. You can just say cover wedding album. I can type wedding album cover. And you just push save. And it will have your little menu, your little progress screen up here. So really easy to make custom designs, photo album designs in Lightroom using our Instabook templates for Lightroom. So hope you found this tutorial useful and that you can start making beautiful photo albums so you can start making, taking less time making them and start making more money by saving all of that time by using Lightroom for your photo album needs. Thanks for watching and Go on over to tubelones.com and check out our albums. Thanks so much. Bye.